Alexander Grothendieck was one of the most influential mathematicians of the 20th century. Known for his work in algebraic geometry, and for his revolutionary approach to the foundations of mathematics, he was born in Berlin in 1928 to anarchist parents. His father, Sasha Shapiro, was a Jewish anarchist who had been imprisoned in Russia, and his mother, Johanna Henke Grothendieck, was a journalist and writer. His early life was marked by the turmoil of the Second World War. His father was killed in Auschwitz, and himself spent several years in various internment camps in France. He showed an early aptitude for mathematics. After the war, he began studying mathematics at the University of Montpellier, and he was invited to work at the prestigious Institut des Hautes Etudes Scientifiques IHES near Paris. At the IHES, he began the work that would make him one of the leading mathematicians of his time. He developed a new approach to algebraic geometry, a field that studies the geometric properties of solutions to algebraic equations. Grothendieck's approach, which he called, schemes, was a radical departure from the traditional methods of algebraic geometry. It was based on the idea of studying geometric objects by looking at the functions defined on them, rather than their points. This approach allowed Grothendieck to solve many problems that had been considered intractable, and it revolutionized the field of algebraic geometry. His work extended beyond algebraic geometry. He made significant contributions to number theory, topology, and category theory, a branch of mathematics that deals with the abstract structure of mathematical objects. His work in these areas was characterized by its depth and its breadth. He was known for his ability to see connections between seemingly unrelated areas of mathematics, and for his insistence on understanding the deepest foundations of the problems he studied. Despite his success, he became increasingly disillusioned with the world of professional mathematics. He was critical of the competitive nature of the field, and he felt that it was too disconnected from the real world. In the late 1960s, he left the IHES and withdrew from the mathematical community. He turned his attention to political and ethical issues, becoming involved in the anti-nuclear movement and other causes. In the last decades of his life, he lived in relative isolation in the French Pyrenees. He continued to write, producing thousands of pages of manuscripts on a wide range of topics, from mathematics to philosophy to autobiography. He died in 2014, leaving behind a legacy of profound and influential mathematical work. His approach to mathematics, with its emphasis on deep understanding and its disregard for traditional boundaries, has had a lasting impact on the field. His life, with its mix of genius, idealism, and eccentricity, remains a source of fascination and inspiration.